Hi, I'm Scott Purdue, and today on Flywire, we're going to start this bonanza. Sounds like fun, eh? Well, there's about a million different techniques for starting one, hot or cold, and we're going to do it both. i got to do a cross country today and put some fuel in it, so perfect opportunity to try it out, both cold and hot. So we're going to take a look at it and see how it works, how my technique works. I've got a secret, and I'm going to tell you what's your technique. All right, the first thing I do is uh, I do my, I don't really use a checklist, I use a flow. I go from right to left, I make sure all the circuit breakers are in, all the buttons and switches are where, they, where I want them to be. So that's, to me, kind of important. I push the uh, prop in, the throttle, the mixture, check my switch off there, mags, the uh, cow flaps open. Set the trim. Touch every button and switch to make sure it's where I want it to be. And go ahead and turn the battery on at this point. And turn the mags on to both. I'm not going to turn the prop. And have to put the right key in. Okay, I'm gonna test. Test. Okay. Now with the uh, all the thr throttle and the uh, mixture full forward, I'm gonna prime the engine. This is cold start. But I'm going to do it the same way. I do cold and hot pretty much the same way. Fuel flow is right there, so I'm going to watch that. And we're going to prime the peak, and we're going to turn it off. Then I'm going to pull the throttle back. I'm going to give it three half turns. And then we are going to start the airplane. Clear prop! And we successfully started the airplane. But everybody seems to have a technique. Like whole wife's things. One of the things everybody says, oh, this is the way to do it. This is the way you got to do it. Well, it's your airplane. You do it how you want to do it. But I'm telling you how I'm going to do it. I'm just an unfrozen fighter pilot. Whatever that means to you, what it means to me is, is that uh, uh, I like to do things the right way and ways that work. And I debrief the way when things that don't work, so I can figure out why it doesn't work and try to do it right, do it the right way. So that's what it means to me. I don't know if you've seen Top Gun or not, but uh, being a fighter pilot really doesn't have anything to do with Tom Cruise and Top Gun. But I, I must admit, I do feel the need for speed. taxi out here to the fuel pumps. The trick about uh, starting an engine, I don't care if it's carbureted, it's fuel injected, uh, it's hot or cold, doesn't matter. What it is is that there's a fancy word that talks about it. It's called sto stoichiometric. And it's a fancy word that talks about ratio, fuel air rations in our particular uh, instance. And uh, if you get the fuel air ratio right and given you got spark, timing is right, then the engine's going to run. It's going gonna, it's gonna to start and it's going to run. That's a good thing. But uh, if you don't get those things right, you got too much fuel, it don't run. If you got too much air, it don't run. So how do we get that fuel-air mixture right? In a big war continental like this one, the cold starting technique is generally accepted to be um, just what I did. Throttle up, mixture full, and uh, then prime it until it peaks and then it'll start after you know get an inch maybe I give it three half turns on the throttle and it starts uh, starts real well so uh, the uh, hot starts a little bit te different technique uh, and there's a lot of people out there uh, there's a whole lot of different techniques with that. one of them uh, says that uh, the fuel pump gets really hot sitting in the back of the engine 
cooling back there after you stop from flying, uh, run the engine for a while, that's going to be really hot. So, uh, and that's generally true, it does get hot back there. So, what a lot of people do, or you know, suggested you should do, is run the fuel pump for about a minute, 60 seconds, while you're doing other cockpit stuff, and uh, then it'll be cool off. With the mixture off, cut and cut off, it's just going to cycle the fuel back and forth, so it's not going to be cool at all. And avoid vapor lock, because that's kind of what's happening. So, uh, that's not necessarily my technique. One of the other hot techniques, hot starting techniques, is to uh, uh, to use the Lycoming big bore content, the big bore Lycoming uh, start technique, cold, which is uh, you prime it just like we talked about, and you leave the throttle all the way up, and you pull the mixture all the way back, and you start it. And then you got to be fast when it actually catches. Get it, you got to put mixture back to it, and you got to pull the throttle back, and you got to keep the whole thing running. So sometimes your arms get and uh, that's basically the hot, one of the most successful hot start techniques for the Bonanza. Let me shut it down real quick. I am where I'm going to get gas. Get gas. So that's the uh, that's the hot start technique for the Continental. Some, and you got to be really fast. But uh, my technique is a little bit different. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to do it like normal. Um, I'm just going to prime it just like it's a cold start and then um, with the, the throttle just where it's set and then as it's starting, to, it's trying to start but it doesn't quite start, I'm going to just start feeding throttle into it so I'm increasing the air mixture to the fuel mixture trying to get that stoichiometric uh, ratio just right and that'll happen when it happens, boom, the engine starts and off it runs and I'm, I, I use it all the time when it's, when it's hot. Uh, uh, I'll do it when it's cold if it's not going to run. <coughs> One of the important things to remember is is that this cold technique we're talking about is not really for cold temperatures. You guys who live in the northern climes or in wintertime, you got to use a different technique. It, you need not as much gas. And the same thing with a hot start, it's the same situation. You need a leaner mixture, leaner fuel air mixture. So the technique works the same way is, you know, same way, same day. I like doing things uh, that work and as many different uh, situations as possible. So, mixture full, throttle full, prime to peak, pull the, uh, the throttle back and leave the mixture in, and then well, three half turns and then start it, and as it's trying to start, I start feeding more throttle in, and then when the stoichiometric, stoi that's hard to say, it's easier for you maybe, stoichiometric, ratio gets right, boom, the engine will start, off you go. So we're going to test that out right now after I fuel it. All right, we're back in the airplane again, we've refueled and Check everything again. All the buttons and switches are in the right place. And I'm gonna refuel, yes, at 104 gallons. That's good. All right, here we go. Peak. One, two, three. Clear prop. And it's as easy as that. Sometimes it's a little harder. But basically, you get the idea. That's my starting technique for uh, the Beechcraft Bonanza. I even use it on carbureted engines. It works great on an 0470. Uh, same kind of a situation, cold or hot start. You're trying to get that stoichiometric ratio, fuel air ratio, just right. So all the different uh, things, if you just, you know, different techniques, a million, hundred, whatever they are, just keep it in mind. What is it you're really trying to do is you're trying to get that fuel air ratio right so the engine will light up. 
So if you like that, great, hit subscribe. I'd love to have you as a subscriber so you can uh, keep apprised the next time uh, we put a video out. And I appreciate you watching. See you next time on Flywire. off pull the key up and that's it <laughs> thanks for watching